Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you what powdery mildew is on a zucchini plant. It'll go to your zucchini plants, squash, cucumbers, pumpkins, the related type plants. Now, before we get there, I just wrote a new book. It's going to be out in February, and it really goes over all the principles that you need to have a successful garden if you want to check it out. Now, in the book, I talk about something very, very important. Routine. Structure and routine. That's what stops this disease. And you can see what looks like powder all over the leaves. These leaves are a little bit more infected than maybe the ones down there. And as you walk through the garden, you can see the powdery mildew. These leaves don't have it. Those are newer leaves. They will get it. And it started over here. And where it started, you see the most powdery mildew. Now this plant has been growing since May. We're in the middle of August. And the success to this plant has really been preventative spraying. And that's the key. It doesn't really matter what spray you choose to use. A lot of them work effectively. I use baking soda spray at times. That works. A wettable sulfur spray, that works. You can use Dacanil, which is a chemical spray. That's very effective. It's waterproof. You can use Serenade. That is an organic antifungal. So any antifungal that you use is usually pretty effective, nine times out of ten. But you don't want to start spraying when you see the powdery mildew. You really want to start spraying ahead of time. And when you're first starting a garden, you may not, know, may not know what diseases and pests come to your garden. So get online, look it up, see what you might find in your area. Talk to people at local nurseries. Ask them, you know, what comes to the gardens in our area. And you can start beginning to build your kind of prevention plan. The first year it's a little bit hard. Second year you can do better. So this powdery mildew comes when the heat goes up, when temperatures are above 85 degrees, getting into the 90 degree range, and when humidity goes up. Every year I can sort of count on it coming. This started all my plants when I was away on vacation and I kind of let it go because I'm going to actually be removing these plants so that I could just show you how it progresses and what it looks like. But this whole area has been producing since May because I've kept on on the preventive sprayings. Preventive spraying means you start spraying two to four weeks before the diseases usually arrive in your garden and you keep that routine going every seven to fourteen days depending on what it is. I can't give you an exact time frame but you just stick with the routine, you stick with the sprays, your plants are going to stay healthy. So now, you know, I have plenty of videos on the sprays and basically you can just get a one gallon container, you mix your sprays up in that one gallon container and you spray the tops of the leaves, the bottoms of the leaves, and you begin to control and manage the powdery mildew. Now I would get in here if I was going to keep this plant and uh, this, yeah, this plant and remove a lot of the leaves that have the powdery mildew. I would spray every five to seven days based on the product that I'm using and just keep it going to get this under control and your plant will survive and will do well but I wanted to just stress the one main point that it's not so much the spray you choose to use, it's how you use the spray by keeping a routine for the sprays. It's, it holds true for the rest of your garden too. Is stick to a routine, learn a routine, and then follow it and your plants will do really, really well for you. Hope that makes sense, gives you some idea of how to start building a plan for your garden first year, ask a lot of questions, go to your nurseries, look online, keep a journal, write down when these problems show up. Try some different products, take notes, and then the second year you're going to know the dates that the pests, the diseases, and the problems come into your garden. Hope that makes sense and please consider uh, picking up my book. It's going to be uh, out uh, February 2021. It's called The Modern Homestead Garden. Thanks for watching.